Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant, and welcome back to the channel. It is a massive day today, and you know why. Winter Wild Cards is here. We've got major SBCs that we know about, like the Hullet and the Martinelli, but we've got so much that we don't know about. Will we get new evolutions today that will change this game? Crazy store packs. We already have cards in packs that we're trying to get. SBCs we're going to want to do. New objectives. Of course, the Winter Wild Card players, it is going to be... A mad day today on this game. So we got to talk about it all. Yesterday's content with the new season. Stuff is moving mad. And today it's going to be even crazier. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Let's go over yesterday's content. The winter best of. The objectives. The SBCs. The evolutions. Let's actually start with what happened first. The brand new season. Season 3 Frostbite. It is 35 days long. And there are some decent things in here. I feel like it's a decent season. That's the word that I keep thinking of. It's not insane. It's not bad. It's just decent. First of all, the 99 rated statistics are in the know with these brand new Winter Wild Cards items. Podolski, 99 shooting. He's 99 everywhere except for finishing. He's got Power Shot Playstyle Plus at level 8. This is a must-take card for the vibes, in my opinion. This is what I like about this season. There's some really just fun player items in here. Level 10 for Harry Kuhl. This is one that I think I would skip. If you're going to take Podolski, take yourself a pack here. 83 times 10. You go to level uh, 15 with Kuman. I'm going to take the pack here as well just because I'm set on center backs, but that is a very nice center back card for an icon. Dead ball plus, really good stats. Could play in the midfield as well. And then level 18, I like this choice here. I think this is actually maybe tough, more tough than you might think because this is another card with 99 rated attributes inside the item, guys. 99 long shots, 99 curve for Wahi, and he has the Trivella Plus Playstyle Plus. He is probably going to have the most ridiculous Trivellas on this game with low shot power but high, lo high a long shot stat and max curve with the trait that benefits the most from curve. That's going to be pretty crazy. So, this is a card that I didn't think I was going to take at first, but again, it's another fun option here at level 18. You could also take an 83 times 10. You got an 86-3 or an 85-4 at level 20. I'd take the 86-3. You go to level 25. This is one spot where I was disappointed. This is the exact same rewards as level 25 last season. You got an 83-20 and an 87-3. I'm taking the 83-20 just for more players. Then you get all the way to level 30. Three, I'm going to take the 84 times four here. And level 35, you got a big choice between Icon Centurion's Smith. You've got an 87 plus Icon pack, which includes Thunderstrucks, but to me is not going to be worth it 30 days from now when we get here. And then, of course, an 84 times 20, which is probably what I'll be taking. Guys, an SBC for an 87 plus Centurion's base or Thunderstruck icon pack is probably going to come out in the next week, maybe even this weekend. So why would I want to open one of those all the way at the end of 34 days from now when we'll probably be getting here to end the season off, right? I'd rather take the fodder, at least in my opinion. We'll have to see where we're at because that'll be probably during team of the year when the season ends. And that's the one thing that I noticed about this season. It's 34 days long. And there are 35 levels, 35 days long, 35 levels. We're going to need to average about 1K XP per day. Of course, you guys know that EA always turn it up at the end and give us plenty of opportunities to do so. So I think it's a decent season. Some cool cards in there, some decent packs. I'm not complaining too much. It is solid. Now, yesterday in objectives, we had the Winter Wild Cards daily login. And this is a fat W. We have two daily logins going on right now. But this one is a must do. Today, everybody's getting a free team of the week, Garnacho. And guys, as far as we look and see, these are the real deal. These are not loan cards. Also, you go down here to like level five, you get yourself a Correa. It doesn't say loan Centurion's Correa. The player pick is a loan for the winter wild cards. But like for Garnacho today, that looks like a real card. That's insane because that's an 86 rated team of the week. If you don't care about it, you can put that into an SBC. And that is amazing. We get something every single day as we go down this list. And at the very end for day 12, we get an 84 times 20 that's nuts gg's ea we love the daily login we love the winter wild cards daily login so make sure you get that done now let's go to sbcs because there's a lot going on inside of this section yesterday of course as usual we had marquee matchups nothing super crazy there but we do have a mega pack so if you want some tradable opportunities that is a mega pack that is sitting and waiting for you and we had not one but two player sbcs we're going to start with the small one first the one that doesn't need to be talked about as much because it's not as crazy 
And this was actually dropped late. You maybe missed it. Brahim Diaz was dropped as a pundit pick. Four-star, five-star, just like his base card. No upgrade there. 88 pace, 90 dribble. He does not have a play style plus. He's got incisive pass, technical flair, and first touch. The, the price in this SPC is 80,000 coins. It's not bad. It's three squads. It is Real Madrid links. So maybe it's one you get done if you're a Madrid fan. I wouldn't put a high precedence on it, though. Um, it just looks like an okay card. Looks like, again, really good with dribbling, solid with pace, um, good with the left stick dribbles, and, and that's about it. So that was dropped yesterday a bit late, but this was the big player SPC yesterday, guys. Kylian Mbappe, 93. And boy, am I glad that I did the 92. Not just because the SBC is more expensive. We knew that was going to happen. But it's really because the upgrade on this Mbappe card, guys, for a 4.9 now million coin SBC, which I believe also requires like 10 Team of the Week cards. It's a lot of Team of the Weeks inside of here. And the first of the year, 90 overall squad. It's just a small upgrade, man. You look at the 93 Mbappe compared to the 92. By the way, the 92 dynamic image, way better. They didn't, didn't even give this one 99 pace. I guess they're waiting for the team of the year Mbappe to drop 99 pace. Crazy that they didn't do that. And it's a plus one everywhere else. I think you got like plus two heading accuracy. You can tell people are not a fan of this Mbappe for the price. But if you didn't do the 92... I mean, yeah, you could craft it, but I think if you did the 92, it is not worth upgrading to the 93. I'll even also say if you've packed gold Mbappe, then I wouldn't even do this player of the month. I think if you have any version of Mbappe, you're good. If it's the 91, the 92, the inform, which the informs in packs again. And also as of right now, before the team of the group stage cards go out of packs, the team of the group stage and the inform Mbappe are both in packs at this very moment. So two special cards of Mbappe are in packs if you get lucky enough, of course. But this is just a crazy SBC. It did, however, make some fodder move. We take a look at the 90s and the 91s. 91 rated cards with the 90 rated squad being there. And a lot of people having to buy cards to do that are 80,000 coins a piece. 90s are 56k a piece as well with a couple of the special cards being a little bit lower. Even 89s are starting to go up in value. So if you had any of those higher tier investments or if you had Katoto, 86k for her big rises there that's a huge help and that's going to factor into the price of that big rude hold sbc today too something that we are going to have to keep a watch out for so that was the mbappe sbc yesterday now an even bigger sbc than mbappe i'm going to call it because more people are doing it it's the 83 times 10 it's back and this sbc by itself made informs go back up in price again because it's an 83 rated squad and inform once again inside of that SBC and it's out for the next 10 days. So guys, we get to do three 83 times tens every single day during winter wild cards. Absolutely fantastic. Now, the fact is it's going to require an inform, which is the problem, right? And these are 39,000 coins. Now the team of the week player pick is still available as we're recording this, but it's going to be going away today on Friday. They better re-release it. I actually, I think they will re-release it too. But that's the biggest SBC from yesterday, guys. Informs went up. 82s, 83s went up as well. It's kind of crazy. Like the fodder market right now, the low tier is expensive. Look at 81s, 900 per. 82s, 1.1K. 83s, 1.3. And then 84s are 2,000 coins, 85s are 5. It's like everything is just smushed in here really low in this lower tier. The super low stuff is up, but everything else is low until you get to the high rated stuff. And then that stuff, it's, the fodder is just, it's crazy. I still think a club stock with all the SBCs that are coming is a smart move. 84s at 2K is so cheap. 85s at 5K, so cheap. 86s at 9K so cheap i don't expect them to go up a ton at least this weekend but as we get more and more spcs during winter wild cards it might just be a good idea to have some of those in the club especially with all the lightning rounds that are going to come today maybe you get on the bids now the last thing that happened yesterday of course this is a big one too is that ea did re-release more cards and packs we talked about this a lot yesterday this post they made on uh, twitter x is actually wrong look at the screen in game because they didn't include messi in that post it's a relatively small set of cards that are in packs, but they are in packs, as it says right here in this infographic, for 10 more days. Basically, when the 83 times 10 expires, that is when these cards are going to go out of packs as well. There's no name on here, which people are a little bit bummed about, but it is a decent set of re-release cards, some middle tier, some lower tier. Uh, we packed Teo Hernandez on a share play yesterday on stream. I packed Jolinton twice. So a lot of these cards, of course, 
have dropped a lot in value because of that but it does add some nice cool cards to packs that if you're opening packs this weekend or upgrades or 83 times tens gives you an opportunity to hit some other nice cards so that is kind of everything that happened yesterday on this game we're going to talk a lot more about the market of course here in just a minute uh, now obviously just to show you one card hansen yesterday Team of the Canton from 835 down to 700k. Big drop offs on any of these cards that were re released. Now let's get to the business, all right? Today, Winter Wild Cards, cards coming into packs. I know we've looked at these leaks already. You maybe have seen these. We're going to breeze through them really, really fast. First of all, we do have icons we believe are coming into packs today. It doesn't look that hype of a team of icon players. EA's really got to juice these with skill move, weak foot upgrades, good play style pluses for a lot of these cards. I hope that they do the business with these upgrades. Now, this is all that we had for leaks until right around the content drop when it was also leaked that Garincha is going to be a part of the icons for Winter Wild Cards. And if you take a look at the loading screen for Winter Wild Cards, which I'm going to pull up here really quick, the loading screen actually shows... A Brazilian striker with 94 pace and 95 dribble. That, to me, doesn't seem like Garincha because it's such a massive, A, position change and, like, plus 5 pace with a play style change. That seems very drastic for an icon upgrade. I almost think that that's Pelé. Maybe it's R9 with a very small boost. I don't know. But I think there's more icons coming than what has been leaked so far, even with Garincha being a part of that. So I'm not entirely sure how it's going to work out today. But based off the loading screen, this looks like Ronaldo for sure, keeping his power shot play style plus, giving him a hefty pace boost and 93 shooting. And this looks like it's Puteas, in my opinion. They didn't give her a passing boost. Still 91 passing, but a different play style with Tiki Taka plus. That's going to make this winter wild cards Puteas absolutely insane once again this is the leaked team that we are expecting today vvd ronaldo dibala rafinha and i mean based off the loading screen it's kind of hard to tell how much and how crazy they're going to upgrade a lot of these cards but again i'll say this winter wild cards almost never disappoints it is always a good promo the cards and packs are great i expect really good upgrades today i expect some really crazy cards that a lot of people want to use and i expect some okay pack weight as well i mean winter wild cards in past years Yes, there's been a lot of lower tier cards. Like, think about the Chiellini, la Chiellini last year that was so packable, almost like annoying to pack because you packed them all the time. But I think there should be a decent pack weight today. I'm not going to say that it's going to be everything super packable, but I think that at least the lower to middle tier should be decently packable and it'll feel like it's a W promo for pack weight. We're really just going to have to see. There are going to be a ton of store packs today. Okay, we know this. All these packs that are here right now, literally look at the expiration. They're all going to be expiring. The store is going to be completely reset today with some crazy winter wild card packs that are in here. We're going to probably going to have those lightning rounds dropping every single hour with tons of packs you got special icons the best of re release the store packs are gonna go crazy today and that is a guarantee now let's go to the other content we'll talk about more market here in just a second but of course as we know we we know who we're getting in his sbc today we're not getting one we're getting two sbcs and of course the big man rude hullet is one of the players who is getting an sbc today and also martinelli right back to the ea tweet it is finally the first day of this countdown or of this calendar i guess you could say of winter wild cards we're getting martinelli today and rude hullet first for martinelli let's start there his card needs to be at or better than this um evolved version of martinelli and he really needs a weak foot upgrade guys but i'm so curious to know today ea seems to always like think back to the last couple of years of winter wild cards they start off winter wild cards with a w sbc player they dropped a w sbc player de young on black friday i think this is going to be a w sbc today the martinelli either the hullet or the martinelli is going to be a w and i hope the martinelli is good will they make him a striker will they change his positions i don't know but I'm excited to see what SBC, what kind of card that he gets today and how much it's going to cost. Shouldn't be more than like two, three hundred, four hundred thousand 400,000 coins. I mean, some Prem tax, some Brazilian tax in there. Maybe they give him five star skills. That'd be a crazy boost. But I'm, ex I'm hoping for a really crazy player today. Now, one thing we have to watch out for is if this card is crazy and if he's a left wing, Watch out for Prem left wings, right? Some of those cards may drop. If he's a striker, watch out for Prem strikers. Maybe a Joao Pedro would drop, or maybe even Gabriel Jesus would drop. 
if Martinelli has the striker position change and if he is a really, really cracked card. Remember the day when Rodrigo dropped and like all of the Madrid links went up, right? But then like all the other strikers, right mids, left mids went down because everybody was doing this SBC when it came out in Trailblazers. If the Martinelli SBC has that level of hype today, it could cause some movement on the market. And then of course, Rude Hullet. I think it's going to be a little bro hullet. I think that's very, very possible. Again, we've been talking about it the last couple of days. My expectation for this SBC is for hullet to be like 2 million coins and 88 rated. So that way it's a more affordable version of Rude Hullet, right? This is the lowest rated version of Hullet right now. I don't know if they're going to give him more pace, if they're going to make it like his mid icon card from the previous years of FIFA. We're going to have to see. But once again, if it's a 2 mil SBC, probably you're going to have some inform requirements in there. You're probably going to have some 85, 86, 87, maybe a couple 88 or an 89 rated squad uh, requirements in there. And that could push some of this higher rated fodder like 88 and above up a little bit more it's just hard for me to say go invest in this stuff because it's already so inflated like 80 90 rated at 50k all right sure we talked about that last week 88s at 22 21k that's decent 89s at 38,000 coins though like that's starting to rise up and get kind of expensive and it might just continue to go that way during this promo, but we know there's going to be a lot of store packs. So at this point, if you're going to say I'm doing Hullet today, no matter what, maybe you stock a little bit of fodder, but just be careful with that because there will be a lot of packs to open a lot of fodder and crafting opportunities during winter wild cards for sure with all the objective packs for the many objectives that we're going to have the 83 times 10 and the like. Now also for SBCs today, I, I don't want to you know, not say something about other SBCs that could be dropping. Again, I'm comparing this promo kind of to Black Friday. Not as insane, but similar, right? We have the 80 plus player pick, the team of the week player pick, and the um, other upgrade packs that are expiring today. I think the team of the week player pick does return. I could also see, I know the 84 times five is going away today as well. I could see another sort of upgrade pack SBC kind of coming back today too. The 87 plus is going to refresh for the campaign mix. Like even an icon pack is very possible today because EA know that people have been saving packs. They're going to drop a ton of lightning rounds. If we don't get an icon pack today, definitely during the weekend, we will be getting another icon SBC. It's going to be a crazy day today, guys, with SBCs. And uh, let's go to objectives and talk about those because we do have a couple of leaks. Shout out to Rick TH21 on Twitter. He has a couple of objective leaks with confirmed stats and ratings baba is coming as an objective card this might be the objective this week and maybe the objective next week because winter wild cards is a two-week promo so it could be bomba today and maybe yeri mina next week or vice versa yeri mina today and bomba today as uh and next week or maybe both of them are going to be today as well i don't know so watch out for that but those are the official stats as well big pace boost for yeri mina that looks like a decent card. Links to Quadrado, Thunderstruck, and then Bamba, La Liga French Links. That could be a decent card as well. Although a lot of people did Evo Bamba, I think, with the Centurions Evo earlier on. That would be like his first promo card of the year other than the Centurions. Now, we got to talk about evolutions, okay? Because just a couple of hours ago, there were some massive Evo leaks put out once again. And we've had some crazy evos recently right like we have so many evolutions right now it's absolutely bananas we've been talking about that and it looks like ea are not done okay they're not done if you wondered why a certain player was almost extinct on the market and is up a crazy amount of price on the market right now and that player being kyle walker well this evo leak is why keep in balance evo 75 k coins or 350 fc points it might not be today but it's one of three leaked evos guys we're getting three more evos soon crazy right and the biggest player that fits into this and is a massive one like i have an untradeable kyle walker in my team with this upgrade 90 pace to 93 with plus three defense three physical three dribble four passing and you get um the quick step play style not play style plus but play style added to the card that is a that would be much more than 75,000 coins on the market, which is why Kyle Walker's price has gone from 8,000 coins. He was all the way up at 16, 17K, kind of where he is now. There is so much hype. You know what it kind of reminds me of? It kind of reminds me of, number one, the Arente Evo from way back when for Centurions, but also a little bit of that Rashford situation that was not that long ago. 
where Rashford had the Evo, he was leaked, and then EA changed the requirements to not allow him to fit into the Evo. Is Kyle Walker too good of a card to be Evoed? We're going to find out today if EA changed the requirements, right? He mentions this as well. This Evo looks insane, so be aware EA could possibly change it, right? I don't know. I don't know if that's even dropping today. There are a couple other Evos leaked we'll look at in a second, but this, if this Evo were to drop, Kyle Walker has so much hype and is a prem right back that so many people would love to evolve. It would really hurt right back prices. So I'd be very careful watching like Team of the Group Stage Cancelo, maybe even Cafu a little bit. Like, Be careful of those prices because that would be an insane card. And I'm sure there's other really great right backs that could fit into that evolution as well. But that's why Kyle Walker is going up like crazy on the market right now. Other Evos that have been leaked. It's called a Growth Spurt 1 Evo. Overall, max 75. Seems like an evolution for a silver or a very low rated gold or maybe even a bronze. Maybe a really good part of a chain evolution, right? Max 76 pace, max 80 dribble, max 80 physical. Gains incisive pass, technical, and dead ball. And you get plus 10 pace, 10 shooting, 12 passing, 11 dribble, 11 defense, and 9 physical. This could also be a really sick evolution if you pick the right card or put it as a part of a chain for an evolution as well that one looks cool and then another one that is leaked is called like a rock um another evo which gains a bruiser playstyle and it's a smaller upgrade so probably free as he mentions but uh guys really for this evo today it could be pretty crazy if it is dropped and it's kyle walker or even some other defenders that could fit into this could be pretty nuts. It's not even a defender Evo, right? It's just overall shooting agility and balance max stats. It cannot be a center back. So maybe some midfielders would fit into this as well. Like a lot of different players would fit into this. So that could be a pretty crazy Evo. And if a crazy Evo drops in a promo Friday, that is not going to mean good things for the market, right? We've seen it many times before this year. When there's a crazy Evo, the market does not do very good. But I do think there are going to be places on the market that will do good today. You're just going to have to pick your spots, right? We talked about it in yesterday's video, the market potentially rising a bit during this period, especially as new people get on the game. Cards that have gone out of packs as well. We were looking at if you bought a Puteus at 300k, she is up to 320,000 coins. I was able to pick up one of those. Virgil van Dyke, as both of these cards are going out of packs today, have kept on rising. VVD is 100,000 coins up 8k from where he was yesterday. And I think that those cards going out of packs, but also some of your other cards that are going out of packs. Guys, I'm still interested in Team of the Group Stage cards today. I know that we have a whole brand new promo that is about to drop, but some of these Team of the Group Stage cards are cards that people will want to use. Now, here's the tricky part about this today. Depending on how the content goes is really going to depend on how well the market does. Usually the market on Fridays doesn't do very good. And the only reason why it could be a little bit different today and some of your rare meta out of pack special cards could end up rising a bit in price the only reason for that is it's a really big promo and we have been seeing prices that have been dropping off on this game for the last month the market is very low in general people have been waiting for winter wild cards and they've been selling and they've been not buying they've been holding their packs whether it's holding packs for team of the year or for a promo like this I mean, there could be a decent amount of buyback. I'm thinking back to Black Friday this year once again, and the cards that bounced the fastest and the quickest were out-of-packs cards from very popular promo teams of cards that just people like to use, and they were rare, right? So that's why I mentioned the team of the group stages because we know that they are pretty rare, and of course, they are not in packs, but maybe there's a Trailblazers player like Sophie Smith or the Rafael Leao. Even though Rafael Leao has a newer card, his Trailblazers has finesse shot, right? This Sophia Smith is already up. She was 210 yesterday, now 250,000 coins. That's the, the part of the market that I think could do better today. People open their packs, they go out, they start buying some cards. So what I would say to do is watch your out of packs, meta specials, and also the brand new promo cards. That'll be a good place to be flipping today. I would also watch the UCL heroes. Some of these have already started to go up, but these cards go out of packs and some of them are very rare and also very in demand. Abedi Pele was 600. He's now 670K. Futre is not up that much. Viali is not up that much, but that's a card that I think could rise. Schneider, Company, uh, Tevez, Ramirez, your most top tier cards, they've already started to go up. Like Tevez is up 100K. Ramirez is up like 70,000 coins. Uh, company is up even 20 or 30K as well. I think these cards, they could 
drop a little bit after content today, depending on how hyped the content is. So I'm not saying they're just going to like content hit and then boom, fly. But I just think that those would be cards that I would watch today as they go out of packs. They're the most recent promo cards. They have a lot of hype. So those are cards that could potentially be rising. But for the rest of the market, I mean, yeah, it's going to be a crazy day. If anything that you want to buy in packs drops off a lot i mean maybe sometime this weekend is going to be a good time to buy it guys it's going to be so hard to really pinpoint the low point for a lot of different cards neymar was 60k 62k went down to 55 yesterday could i see neymar going to like 50k yeah i can see him dropping a little bit more alan st maximin who's in the current team of the week this is a card that i probably wouldn't buy until at least some lightning rounds hit even though he's so hyped He's in packs today. He's going to get supplied. You just got to be careful with anything that is in packs because on the weekends, cards do tend to drop a ton. So it's going to be it's going to be a day today. It's going to be hard to decipher where prices on the market are going to go. But I think the rare out of pack stuff could move a little bit. The brand new winter wild card promo cards, they will definitely move a lot. But if you're looking to buy stuff for your team, I still think there might be an opportunity to wait a day or two if content today is insane. Prices could drop a bit during the weekend, still some more. And then once we get to Sunday, Monday, right around Christmas, cards could continue to go back up. But again, that rare, that meta out of pack stuff could start to rise faster than other things. The bottom line is it's going to be a wild day today. So much content with Evos, SBCs, all the packs, the store, the objectives. It's going to be a wild day today. The market is going to be wild as well. Well, now a couple cards I do want to point out really quickly. Hey, uh, Road to the Knockout upgrades technically are due for a couple of the women's UWCL cards. I'm looking at Guiharo and yes, Basha. According to the UEFA Women's Champions League Twitter, um, even though the other games were postponed for um, Lyon yesterday or in Lyon's group, on the Women's Champions League Twitter, they have Lyon and Barcelona in the last eight. Uh, so, like, they have kind of clinched their spot into the knockout rounds, which is an upgrade for the brand new released Guijaro. She should be going to a 91, right? Because they've qualified for the knockout stage. They just haven't won two matches yet. So, she could go to a 91 today, and Basha could get her plus one overall and complete the ultimate upgrade of going to a 90 rated Basha card, which a lot of people would be very, very excited for. And it's very possible that she could be getting upgraded today. Hopefully EA do not forget about this because they might. Um, it may not happen until maybe later in the weekend. They might forget entirely. Hopefully they do not, but we will have to see. And uh, yeah, that's a big part of today's content that maybe you're not looking out for, but it's very possible to be happening. Now, today's also a massive day because the 83 times 10s come back. And uh, yeah, guys, I didn't save any packs for today because what I thought of was, hey, Team of the Group Stage cards are sick. The Winter Best Of is out right now. And also the Heroes are out right now. So I sent it yesterday. I opened my 84 times 5s. I opened my 83 times 10s. I didn't pack anything absolutely nuts. But uh, I knew that the 83 times 10 was going to be coming out three times a day. And you best believe that I'm about to be doing that. And I will be sending some coins. Yes, we'll be trying to make coins during this whole week and this promo and everything with fodder and investing, maybe in team of the weeks a little bit if they look like they're going to move and just with other moves on the market. But um, yeah, we're going to be doing those 83 times 10s because with all the cards that are in packs, it's going to be worth it to either craft the SBCs or to try to pack something big for winter wild cards. It is going to be a crazy day today. Guys, so this is my transfer list right now. I've got the Puteas, a couple of Timbers, and I got the VVDs. And I did pick up a Guijaro on bid. You can see she's 415K. I picked her up at 382. So I'm just going to be watching the market a lot. And uh, it's going to be a crazy day today, guys. If you want to follow along and watch everything unfold with us, check out the content and all that. We are going to be streaming live on Twitch per usual, looking at all the content, watching the market, making live calls on the market, cards we can buy, sell, flip, trade, make some coins, and where we think prices will be going today on this game with all the new content. That link is down below in the description. It's going to be a crazy day today, guys. I hope you're excited for it. Best of luck opening your packs, and I'll see you in the Twitch stream. If you enjoyed the video, drop a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe for new. See you guys in the stream today. It's been Nathan with Accountant. Peace. Out.